All right, guys, who's going to the gun range with me? There's a lady in Boulder City. She just called me. She has a knock molly gun. This is possibly one of the coolest guns ever made. It's got seven barrels. Or at least that's what she says it is. Did you say seven barrels? Seven barrels that all go off at once. I'm in. Sharpshooter of the century right here. Do not bring him to the gun range. Chum has way too much stuff to do around here. Come on, Chum. I have to have someone fire it. So basically, you want someone to shoot it because you're yellow belly. No, I want to shoot this thing. Come on, Chum. Let's go. They got Alex beating us out there, too. There's work to do here. When did you turn into the old man? Come on, Chum. Peace, sucker. Oh, you will pay for this, Chum. A customer called the shop, and she has a knock volley gun. She lives in Boulder City, and the gun range is right in the middle, so I figured that's where we'd meet. I have never seen one of these in person, and I've been buying and selling guns for over 30 years. That is a big oh. gun. Where in the hell did you get this? I, it's kind of a crazy story. I go to the range all the time with uh, my girls and shoot, and there's this guy, I guess, he really likes me, and he gave it to me. OK. So, All right, I'm the weirdness here. of the world. The weirdness yeah, of the really world. Weird. It's actually a volley gun, but people now refer to it as the knock volley gun. I've actually never seen one in person, only behind some glass in a museum. They were just pure insanity. To put seven barrels in one gun, it's a shotgun on a lot of drugs. <laughs> <laughs> it's an incredible gun. So have you fired this thing? I have not. I was nervous to shoot it because of the amount of kick that it probably has. Well, I, it, you literally got hit in the shoulder with a giant sledgehammer. Yeah. That actually was the chief complaint about them. They were designed, actually, for British warships. They were used in the beginning of the Napoleonic Wars. Back then, sea combat, uh, the idea was to capture the other boat. You didn't want to sink it because that was a boat that you could use in your navy. So they get up alongside and they have boarding parties. And as the boarding parties came over the deck, these guys who had uh, these volley guns were up in the rigging and they would shoot down with seven barrels thinking that it would clear the decks. But the problem was seven barrels had a tremendous amount of recoil and the guys were actually dislocating their shoulders. And the other thing is, with you know 100 grains of powder in each barrel, that's 700 grains, the, the flame that came out of the end of this was like 12 feet long. So they were setting their own ships on fire. So pretty quickly, these went out of service. OK, so um, it's all right with you if we shoot them? Yeah, sure. OK, um, I mean, what's the worst could happen? <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't blow up. Yeah, you need to be very careful with things like this. We have no idea what condition it's in inside. Uh, I'll take a look at it, and hopefully we'll be able to shoot it. OK. So you want to go grab your stuff? Yeah, I'll go grab my stuff, and I'll be right back. All right, so I inspected it. Uh, the chambers are clear. The action's working well. So I'm feeling comfortable that we can actually shoot this thing. I definitely want to shoot it. Why don't you let me shoot it? I think people will miss me less, and they'll miss you. And I don't I care when maybe... I shoot it, as long as I shoot it. This is a true piece of history. I'm like, I get excited about it, because I don't get to see things quite like this really ever, and you never get to shoot them. All right. All right, here we go. Here we go. I think I hit it. I think I hit the barrel. <laughs> Alex fired it and didn't even come close to the target. So it's going to be fun to watch Chum shoot this. <laughs> Good luck, Chum. Hope you like your fingers. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! Oh, that's how you do it. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. <laughs> nice work, Chum. That's what I'm talking about. Only one here who can hit the target. You'd have cleared the deck. Hey, it's something I'm good at. I usually clear the dance floor. <laughs> so what do these things go for? I would value this at $35,000 to $40,000. OK. I mean, what's your best price on it? Um, I would take thirty-eight dollars for it. You'd take less than that. It was a gift. I'll give you 28 for it. I have to make money. I think that's a little bit low. How about 30? You know what? I'll give you the 30 grand for it. Great. Cool. Thank you so much. Um, just bring it with you to over to the pawn shop. We'll do okay. some paperwork, and I'll give you a check or cash or whatever you want. Sounds okay? great. Thank you so right, much. Cool. I'll see you there. OK, see you there.
Cool. I got a gun, dude. Oh, man. <laughs> I feel like Santa came to town. <laughs> I think I made a great deal. I usually don't get giddy over things. I'm a little bit giddy over this gun. There's just so few of them out there. So I'm going to do all right in this. I think I'll get close to 40,000 for it. What do you think, chum? I think you're a little chicken. You should have shot it. I'm not chicken. You're definitely yellow belly. Oh, shut up, chum.